So I've been involved in the Rand Max project, which is a um, competition for um, a series of short films on Channel 4. Um, the winner gets a bursary to um, go and essentially get the film made. And you have to, when you apply, you have to um, send them in a brief of your idea. So they get you to explain your idea in a single sentence and then go into a little bit more detail. Um, when I initially applied, I wasn't successful, but I've since, in being shortlisted, but I've since gone up to um, the studios up at Spike Island to work with some of the people on the, on the panel that um, shortlist. Uh, the applications and just to get a little bit more help and feedback and get my idea in a bit more of a sort of solid sense of kind of where I want it to be. I find being a sort of young disabled person in Bristol can be quite frustrating. So I had the idea of um, sort of maybe taking a, um, a situation that the sort of your average able-bodied person might take for granted. And I had, I was, I spent ages sort of thinking up, um, thinking up a scenario, and I eventually decided to go with the struggles I've had getting on public transport. And I find um, I've had various, shall we say, not so pleasant experiences trying to get the bus, and. Um, I, want, I remember after one particular memorable experience, for all the wrong reasons, I went home and I did, quite, I did an open letter to First Group on my blog and I was quite sure I was, uh, I did, I uh, kind of ranted to the bus company essentially. And the, the idea is basically for the film, it's essentially why isn't my real self as confident as my blogger kind of self? And, you know, it's going to be like a little sort of com conflict between those two sort of personas. And I'd like it, the tone of it to be a little bit more playful. So I, where I'm at with it at the moment is I kind of want my... Uh, I've been playing around with the idea of having animation in there somewhere and have my sort of blogger self come in and say, oh, no, you should, you should have said this or you should have said that and, it, you know, go completely off the, off the wall with it. I initially thought bringing it from my sort of personal experience would kind of make it a little bit sort of hard to relate to because it's something that I've experienced and not everybody's going to have the issues that I've had. But then, then again, I thought to myself, it'd be a real it'd be a really sort of good idea for a film because it's so, per, you know, because it's so personal and I'll be able to, kind of, nobody else will be able to kind of say what I want to say with it in the way that I can.